hero, traitor, or coward? Is the speaker actually a double agent? Is he the reason why Gaul was able to overwhelm us at the tower? Or is he just a key to the traveler for Gaul? Well, let's discuss. So, before we get into finding out if the speaker has betrayed us, let us go back a bit and learn more about the mysterious speaker. What we know is that he is the Traveler's voice, the sympathetic authority figure, the one who worries about those who the Traveler has blessed with the light. Obviously, we all know he has his own wing in the tower. He does not seek riches like glimmer or strange coins. Neither does he pursue power. That is the image he portrays to us, right? He does, in fact, accept modes of light and even sells us ghosts and class-specific items. But what does he do with all those modes of light we give him? Does he use them for a nefarious plan? Or is he trying to restore the Traveler's power? He has been with the last city since its infancy. We can clearly see him spreading the word of the Traveler in the village in one of the Destiny 2 trailers. All who truly knew him are lost to legend. For example, the famous Titan defender Saint-14, who called the Speaker Father, as did the Speaker call him Son. But was it more of a kind of a father religious figure kind of way? Or was it like a father, you're my, you know, Luke, I am your father, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> is, like, is it like a Star Wars thing? But there was never a close bond between them. It is possible the speaker only used the Titan using the fame that came with Saint-14 to extend his wisdom and good faith of the Traveler to the masses. But on the other hand, the former rebellious warlock vanguard mentor, that is a mouthful I know, known as Osiris did not trust him one bit, so much that he decided to abandon the tower and his duties as the vanguard all together. Was Osiris onto something that he had to escape the grasp of the speaker to one day fight back? This is where it starts looking like the speaker only keeps around those who follow him blindly. Are we mere weapons of war to him? He then begins to see us as something he cannot control. So he seeks Skull and the Red Legion because he believes they are more mindless and powerful than the Guardians. The speaker has been there so long he knows the ins and outs of the tower and is able to shut down the defense grid that protects the last safe city on earth. This is how Gaul was able to obliterate the tower. Has being the chosen disciple of the traveler driven him insane with power? He might just be seeking a stronger army and see, sees us as unworthy, uh, unworthy beings. Or is he truly a hero to the people and was abducted by Gaul to harness the power of the light? Or is the speaker just a coward and ran away at the first sign of danger, leaving everyone behind, not giving a rat's ass about anybody's well-being but his own? We will not know anything further to do with the speaker and his reasons until Destiny 2 comes out in September. Or, finally, is the speaker just dead? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is he a hero? Is he a traitor? Or is he just a coward? Let's discuss in the comments. And thank you for watching the video Guardians and stay tuned here for further Destiny 2 news and of course speculations cause you know how I love my speculations. <laughs> May the Traveler's Light bless you and always stay awesome. Until the next one, bye bye.